Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards. Welcome to Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to hear what God is saying to us today. Luke chapter 5, verses 29 and 30. Levi held a banquet in his home with Jesus as the guest of honour. Many of Levi's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained bitterly to Jesus' disciples. Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Levi the tax collector is better known to us as Matthew. There were many kinds of tax at the time. There was a poll tax, which men aged between 14 and 65, and women, 12 to 65, had to pay. There was also a ground tax, one-tenth of all that was grown, and one-fifth of wine and oil had to be paid in kind or in money. And then there was income tax of 1%. However, that was only the start of the taxes and duties that had to be paid. There was a tax payable for the use of roads, harbours and markets, and people using a cart had to pay for each wheel and each animal that pulled it. In short, tax was a complicated and extensive part of life, and tax collectors could become very rich. Nobody takes great pleasure in paying tax, let's face it, but at the time, tax collectors were particularly disliked. They worked closely with the hated Roman administration. Consequently, they were barred from attending synagogue and were viewed as the dregs of society, classed together with murderers and robbers. The Pharisees and teachers of the law were at the other end of the social scale. They were respectable, and they were admired for their ritual and spiritual purity. That involved keeping as considerable distance from people as distasteful as tax collectors. When Jesus called Levi to be one of his disciples, he knew exactly what he was doing. He was declaring that everyone was welcome to follow him. He would have been well aware that it would have been annoying to the Pharisees, but Jesus didn't merely welcome Levi. He also accepted an invitation to a party where more tax collectors would be present. To the shocked Pharisees, Jesus simply pointed out that healthy people didn't need a doctor, only the sick people did. He hadn't come for those who thought that they were spiritually healthy, but for those who knew that they were sinners. I don't know if you've ever been tempted to divide people up between those who are respectable and those who are not, but remember this, the arms of Jesus are wide open to everyone. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, thank you that your arms are open wide to every kind of person. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I'd love to encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available on podcasts, which you can access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.